Hello everyone. Um, I'm working on uh, with a group of ladies where I'm teaching them some techniques um, and in the process we're doing a complete um, photo album or you know scrapbook album. There's uh, 12 layouts in the album but um, the bottom line is it's it's the techniques that we're um, trying to trying to do and just get back into the habit of um, doing some 12 by 12 sheets we haven't done 12 by 12s because we've all been consumed with minis and um, nothing wrong with that I just um, found this great paper line um, by simple stories and it's the generations collection um, I love their paper and um, we've already done we did um, it's a three month series so we've already done October's and I'll probably po post the pictures for those and this is for November but what I want to share with you today is um, and I'll go back through these uh, another time but I want to show you how um, I made this slider card or this pocket slider however you want to say it um, a friend of mine shared it with me and I believe she saw someone do something similar um, you know show the technique on how you make it on YouTube so I incorporated it in with my project so let's get started and I'm show you how to share with you how and how I did that okay so first what we need is for our supplies um, on my particular project I wanted it to seem like it's one continuous piece and not necessarily um, an entirely separate pocket so I kept the pattern the same as what was on um, my layout and this measures um, four by eleven so what you're going to need is you're going to need your scoreboard and your first score is going to be uh, a quarter inch you'll score that lay that down into place and then you're going to score the next if you score and leave that on you know don't don't burnish it and put it into place your measurements are going to be off probably not by much but um, this is how I did it so I burnished it put it into place scored at um, three three quarters then did the same there my bone folder I burnished it another three and three quarters and then the, you have your measurements you have all your score lines that you need okay so we're gonna put this um, to the side Just te te technically you actually put your mechanisms right on this last flap but I'm going to just show you what I did on a, a separate piece of paper so you have your two pieces that are going to create your slide okay and you also need a one and a half by eight and a half strip of plastic uh, plastic bag plastic period whether it's from um, a plastic bag you want it to be some somewhat soft and pliable and and flimsy you don't want the really heavy duty plastic bags because they're not going to slide as easy so what you do is I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes right now well I guess we can use that that piece I'm not going to glue it down though so you take your piece um, make sure your plastic bag doesn't have a, a seam or it's not in a bunch of individual pieces because anything that is going to obstruct the sliding back and forth around your card or around your um, pocket base is going to stop it from slide sliding smoothly 
So you want to make sure um, you have one, try to have one continuous piece and you try to have a piece that does not have um, seams and then you want to put your adhesive down where um, close to where you're going to lay your um, your cards. So I'm like here. We've brought it over and this is more than eight and a half. I just left it whole but you're going to cut it a little bit longer than probably what you need just to make sure you've got the right cut. And I'm going to use some of my score tape, my double sided score tape. And I'm going to put it right on there. And bring that over. So now we've got our slider pretty much in place where we want it. Any excess, you can go ahead and cut that off. And this is where your first card's going to go. Just like that. It's gonna go right over that. You want it to be even. Um, unless you don't plan on putting some sort of a, a tap pull or um, maybe a flower. I put a flower on mine right here. Uh, under that, there is a tab pull. If you can see it, I don't know if you can really see it. But I did put a tab pull. Do you see that? I put a tab pull there and then um, put a brad through that. And when I say tab pull, basically, all I'm talking about is, um, make, you know, a circle, a half a circle, um, adhered, or, or a, a full circle adhered halfway onto your card and halfway off. So you'll have some sort of a base to just pull it out. And typically you want to also cut with your, um, one and a half inch punch, or if you have a smaller circle punch, you can cut a, a little opening right there so you can have your space for your tap hole okay so what we have here is you adhere that there so we're going to do that then on the opposite side. This will pull this way. So we want one that's going to pull, pull this way. So we're going to put our card on this side. We're gonna glue it on this end so it can pull out this way, okay? Double-sided tape. Even it up with the bottom of our space there. Now, the tricky part is making sure you don't have anything stuck. Okay. And you don't want to be too close to the edge. You don't want, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was off screen. You want to make sure you're out enough, you're even enough with the center of your base. So when you're pulling, it pulls easily. Okay? It's not going to pull now because there's nothing holding it down. So let's see if we can just hold it there and grab one side of this. Okay. 
I think I'm holding the wrong side. Well, I can show you on this one that I have done. Because until it's glued down, it's kind of difficult to get it to work. I can hold it, but I didn't want to glue it just yet because I, um, this one I'm going to use on another project. But basically, now you see how it works. And if you punch your circle here, I can do that. And if I'm doing all this, I might as well go ahead and glue it down, right? Punch that there. And you glue your half a circle here, just like that. That way, when you go to pull, you've got something to hold on to. Okay? And this one I have done already. I just, um, those are my notes. And I added, um, these are cards, uh, like trading cards, that actually came on a sheet. Uh, let's see if I have one. I don't have one in front of me, but they came on a sheet with the um, Generations Simple Stories paper pack or paper collection. And you get a variety of these um, sentiments on there, or they look like it could just be for photo, uh, photo mats or you can journal on them really really nice and um it like i said it's a full 12 by 12 sheet you can use it as part of your layout like i did here that's one of the sheets and um i thought it was really nice as a, a collage looking page or you can cut them out and use them just like this so this um, is actually putting these on there helps to reinforce because this this paper is yeah it's cardstock but it's not as heavy and as, as you're pulling and tugging it may weaken your paper a little bit so it's pretty good a pretty good idea to add some extra cardstock or um, you know like I did here add a trading card or you could use a canvas that you blend it on or you know whatever you want to add to it you know once you put a picture on it probably will hold up pretty good too but um i just wanted to share that today that's the slider pocket that i'm using on this page layout and this is for my um the series i'm calling cocktails with a little class and um, i will have a um a kit of this on my blog I just have to make sure um, <laughs> unfortunately the from the administrative side um, not real sure I'm, I'm waiting to get some assistance on how to put that on my blog so that um, people can make their purchases but in any event if someone is interested in this um, in the kit um, or knowing you know what what other pieces what other layouts I have just uh, send me an inbox message. Okay. All right. Happy creating and thanks for watching.